Are you ready for the U.S. to triple its nuclear power capacity? Well, you should be because the U.S. just released a report. Actually, the White House just released a report that stated they want to triple their capacity by 2050. Now, right now, today, the U.S. produces about 100 gigawatts of electricity from nuclear power annually. And by 2050, they want to get to 300 gigawatts. And this obviously is a monumental task because it means building a ton of nuclear reactors, big ones, small ones in between, and then also repurposing and reopening closed down nuclear power plants. So there's a huge opportunity here for investors who understand what this means. Obviously, you want to be investing in uranium because there's going to be a much higher consumption of uranium with this entire uh, increase of nuclear power and also investing in companies building these power plants, maintaining them and trying to get the old ones back online. So as many of you know, I have been a uranium investor for years, really since about 2017, and I exited out of a lot of my position earlier this year. One of the reasons I exited is because I was up so big and it was time to take profits. But the other reason is because the geopolitical situation is changing globally. And the U.S. has explicitly stated that they do not want to do trade with Russia when it comes to uranium. And Russia is a huge producer of uranium. A lot of the companies and stocks that I owned had their operations intertwined with Russia operations in other parts of the world. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get out of this now before something goes wrong. Since then, uranium has dipped a lot, but today it, it spiked back up because of this report that came out from the White House. The report itself I will link to down below. It's called Safely and Responsibly Expanding U.S. Nuclear Energy. And it's a pretty lengthy report. It's like 35, 40 pages, and it's got a lot of words in it. I'll summarize it for you. It basically says, hey, we need domestic uranium, domestically produced uranium, because we're going to build a lot of power plants. And we're really sorry to all the Indian reservations throughout the U.S. because during the 50s and 60s, we made a huge mess mining for all this uranium and we didn't clean it up. We were using the uranium for nuclear bombs and we didn't really understand the long term effects. So we're really sorry, but we're still going to mine for it and we're going to do our best to make things cleaner and better into the future. Obviously, that's a uh, very, very um, you know, tongue in cheek summary, but that's basically what it says. You can read the report for yourself. So for investors who understand this opportunity, you should be looking at U.S. uranium miners. And there's a bunch of them. Now, I'll caution you, be very, very careful. A lot of them are penny stocks. A lot of them are super volatile. And a lot of them will not be successful. However, if you are believing that the U.S. government is going to increase its nuclear power capacity, which I believe, because not only does the current White House administration, Biden, want to do it, the Democrats, but the Republicans want to do it too. And Trump, who's getting into office in just a couple months, has also said he supports nuclear power. So pretty much everybody's on board. In fact, I don't know anybody in the current or future administration that opposes nuclear power. It provides energy security for the U.S. and it also increases electrical production for the U.S. economy. So pretty much everybody's on board here. So this is a clear trend as an investor you can identify and say, this is going to happen. Now's the time to position yourself. I will provide a list of American uranium miners so you can pick through them, be very careful. A lot of them will not be successful, but some will be super successful and they will make a ton of money because they'll probably get exclusive contracts for U.S. Uh, nuclear power plants. It's worth noting that there is an agreement between five countries, including the U.S., called the Sapporo Five, which is Japan, Canada, France, the U.K., and the U.S. That's the five of them. And they have agreed to uh, do trade with uranium and to make sure they exclude Russia. The agreement actually says that. So that's another way that the U.S. can get some uranium. So if you see uranium mining and operations uh, being pursued by those countries, that's another way you can get exposure to this uranium opportunity. Overall, uh, this isn't super surprising. The reality is the U.S. needs a ton of electricity and nuclear power is the only real solution that we know of right now. So we need to build more nuclear power plants. Uh, I do think it is uh, very important that uh, it's a bipartisan agreement. Everybody it agrees in the U.S. government we need this. So there shouldn't be too much uh, blockage other than the environmental hurdles, which I believe Trump will aggressively attack in order to uh, prioritize the construction of these nuclear power plants and nuclear mining. 
uh, or uranium mining. So as an investor, there's gonna be some volatility here, but long-term, this is a pretty good trend to jump onto. Uh, this is just another reason to be bullish on the US. I think the US markets are very euphoric right now and we'll probably see a correction. They're very, very, very high. So if you do have some gains, consider selling some stuff, rotating into uranium and being very, very patient. That said, the US is, uh, let's just say we're on a pretty good path right now. And we have some beautiful beaches. All right, guys, go enjoy the day. Go enjoy the day. See ya.